This is a Lucas 15AC alternator. In this video, we are going to replace the brushes. So the brushes are Baxter's brand ULB 110, uh, and it specifically says it for Lucas AC 15 ACR. That's what they look like. The other component we're going to change is the rectifier. So this is um, an original, um, new old stock. So there's the part number for the rectifier. And the reason why I'm changing this rectifier is that when this alternator was connected up, it wasn't. It was producing like 16 volts when the um, uh, when it was fully spinning. So we just want to see if there's any distant. Um, difference so I'll do a before and after test um, but the first thing I need to do is actually get this hooked up I'll go and grab a car battery hook it up put a voltmeter on there and just see what is it's actually producing um, and there's a sp certain way you've got to connect this up so I will most likely put up a wiring diagram, I'll, I'll find one on the internet and put that in when I edit the video. Uh, connect it up and then we see how we go from there. Okay, I'll just talk you through how I've got this um, alternator connected up. So there's a few different terminals on here. Um, I'm just going to disconnect that one for now. So of course you've got, I'll disconnect that one. All right. So, there are two larger pins here and a smaller one. So the connector that is on the wiring harness will plug onto that. So the first one, just let me get these in the right order. First one is positive, that's just going directly to the battery. Second one is negative, and that's going directly to the battery. The last one, it's labelled IND for indicator, so that one is going to an instrument bulb, which would be the um, ignition bulb. So that's the same type of bulb, 12 volt, 2.2 watt. And the other end of this, I'm just going to connect to the positive terminal. And when I connect that to the positive terminal, that would um, represent connecting or just turning the ignition key on. Um, the final thing you'll notice here, I'll just shine another torch to make it easier. There's a F minus connector, I'll just try and put it here, just under there. So that pin there, that just is that just needs to be connected to earth. Uh, why it's a separate pin, I'm not too sure. But that's sort of just how it is. Um, so for now this white cable I've got here that just runs back to the battery too. So I'm going to plug that onto there. Okay, and then this um, connection here which is connected to the bulb, that one, when I connect that to the positive terminal on the battery, uh, the ignition light goes on. So that represents turning the key. Um, the voltmeter I've got connected here, they're the, connected to the two green uh, alligator leads and they're just connected to those pin, terminal pins there. So that's the voltage on the voltmeter. Uh, what I'm about to do, I'm going to use a, um, an impact drill and when we get the revs up high enough, the ignition light should turn off and then the voltage on the voltmeter should read higher than what it actually is at the moment. So the thing that you want to look at, I guess, would be the light globe going out. Let me just try and make that a bit easier to see. Uh, yeah, I think that's good enough. Yeah, so you've got to watch the voltage. So once I connect the impact driver to the actual alternator to start spinning it, um, the ignition light should go off and the voltage should increase. So let's give that a go and then just to see what we can get it to go up to. Okay, 
Okay, so that test, that looked great. It was going to like 30, so a bit over 13 volts. So that's where it needs to be. Um, we're going to still just replace the rectifier, replace those um, brushes, and then just see if there is any difference. So they're sort of parts that wear out. So it could be the case where I'm wasting my time, but I've got those parts. They were cheap to buy, so I'm going to just fix them in there because that's the whole point of this. We like playing around and pulling things apart. All right, so uh, I'll disconnect all of this and then we'll record pulling apart the alternator. All right, so the first thing we need to do is just get this cover off. Uh, that is, so it's not connected to there. That's just um, held on here with two Phillips head screws. And then this whole cover just comes straight off. So what you can actually see now is a rectifier. I'll, op I'll open up the box just so you can see what the new one looks like. Hopefully it's the same. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, so that's that piece. There's something else in the box there. Um, got to figure out where that is meant to go. Not sure if that... I think it sort of sits on there somewhere, but I'll... Have a play in a moment. I think that's where it's meant to go. There's a similar piece on that one. It actually looks slightly different, um, but it might just be the way I'm looking at it. So under here is where the um, the brushes are. Uh, so we'll remember the position of this uh, black lead, and just let me see if that's the same. So the black lead just goes onto there. Uh, there's a few other terminals on there, but obviously they're not used on this particular model. Okay, so we will... Let's get another screwdriver. Uh, I'll just disconnect that terminal here. And just to show you the brushes. So these top pieces here are... These actual bits here. So the piece that's sticking up here, these terminals are those terminals there on them. All right, so let's um, get this off. Okay, so you can see the brushes inside there. They're not going to fall out. Uh, that's the. I don't know. That piece can probably be changed as well. Um, I'm sure you can just Google image and look at an exploded diagram. Uh, so that's what we want to change. This actual piece is separate, so we don't have to resolder anything on there. So I'm going to just move this. Actually, I'll, I'll move the camera down, then you can watch me do this down here. So let's just get down to here. And I'll just get everything in focus again, bring the light a bit closer, just so we can watch a bit closer up. Okay, that comes like that, and then that just slides straight out, so that's the old one. Uh, I'll open up that, I'll open up the new packet just to make sure things are the same. So these are the new ones, I'll just put them there. And obviously it's a bit, the spring's a bit, um, or not in the right position there. You can see the difference in how much it's worn out. See, I wasn't actually going to bother changing them, but it's not a huge amount, a little bit, but... Okay, so we can straight away then just pop that one straight in there doesn't look like it matters which way around it goes, it just sits straight in there. So, try and do this so you can see, but all I'm doing is just pushing that in the hole. It's a loose fit, it's not that tight. That goes there, and just we'll have a look on the other side. You can see how much further it sticks up. Okay, so that's good.
So I will leave this bit for now. I'll put these brushes back into this bag just so we can keep them still. And then we'll have a look at sorting out the rectifier now. So I'll just pop you back up here. Uh, I can actually zoom in on this camera, so maybe that's something I should do. And hopefully the focus is still good. Okay, so I'll just adjust that light. So we want to take out this um, rectifier now. Alright, might have lost a bit there because the camera only records for 9 minutes. This is, this is a different camera I'm using today. Uh, Alright, so let's get this lower one on first. Because that one should be easy. Alright, something just moved. It didn't like that. Okay. I think it might be okay still though. Okay, so we just got one last one to go and that's going to get connected up to there. So we might need to open that one up a bit. And hook that on. I think as long as it's near it, I can hold that with a screwdriver. Actually, I'll just put the screwdriver into there just to support it. And then that should be okay there. I'll just double check to make sure they're all joined on okay. Yep, 
Yeah, they all seem fine. Alright, so... I think I'm happy with that piece. That will only need... I'm not going to need them two parts. I'll just put them onto there for now so they don't get lost. Just save them on the old piece. Uh, so we're going to have, have the washer first, then that. Uh, I think it's meant to be like an anti-vibration piece. And then I can screw this nut back on. Okay, so I've got it set back up again, how I had it earlier, everything's all connected the same way. Um, you can see the voltmeter there, it's reading 12.6, so I'm just going to plug in, connect up the ignition, or what would simulate the ignition, so the ignition is on, uh, connect up the drill, I'll just show you how much I'm doing that, so it's just using an impact driver, and then that's going to um, rotate. Um, it needs to spin up fast enough and then the ignition light will switch off and then we'll see a change in the voltage. All right, let's give this a go. Okay, so 13.5, I think this is slightly better than what it was before. So that looks like a success. I'll leave it there. I need to go to bed. It's a bit late. Thanks for watching my videos.